In this video, we explain how to set up and test your ICT-250 terminal. The ICT-250 can communicate via an analog phone line and with a wired IP connection. You can use either connection type depending on your preference. The IP connection is faster, so if you have an IP connection available at your business location, we recommend you use it. First, you need the terminal to communicate to the host. If you decided to go for an IP connection option, you need to connect your terminal to an active IP connection. Take an Ethernet cable from the box, plug one end of the cable into a modem or a router, and the other end into a port on the extension labeled with the letters ETH. If you opted in for a dial connection type, take a phone cord with a functional dial connection and plug it into the port labeled with a phone icon and the letters IN. Now that the connection cable is plugged in, let's power on the terminal. All cords and cables, including a power cord, connect to the extension and not to the terminal directly. The extension itself is connected to the terminal. Take a power cable out of the box and plug it into a power outlet. Now, plug the other end of the power cord into a port on the extension labeled with a lightning bolt. The terminal will light up and go to the main screen. Once the terminal is powered up, you need to perform a simple connectivity test, otherwise known as key exchange. Press 9 for more. Press 4 for admin and press 2 for key exchange. The terminal will connect to the host and will display key exchange successful. Once the terminal displays key exchange successful, you're good to go.